All right, in this module, we are going to go over some basics of bonding. They'll be closely related to the periodic trends that we talked about in the last lecture. All right, so let's first go over the types of atomic bonding that there are. And these are ones that are gonna sound familiar, hopefully, uh, and we'll just kind of go over them uh, in a little detail. So there's two main classes of uh, bonds. And so here there's a little James Bond uh, puns for you. Um, but the, the first type is primary. So primary bonds are the strong bonds. They have much higher bond energy um, than the other type. So we have ionic, covalent, and metallic. So hopefully you've at least heard of two of those. And we also have uh, secondary bonds, uh, sometimes referred to as van der Waals, uh, interactions or forces. And as it might uh, seem obvious from the name, secondary means that they are not as strong as the primary. And so usually the the guideline we give is it's a roughly one order of magnitude stronger. The primary bonds are roughly one order of magnitude stronger than the secondary bonds that we're going to talk about. So there, there's different, uh, we're going to define a dipole and talk about different types of interaction that those dipoles can have. All right, so to discuss the type of bonding that we're gonna have, we have to talk about a, a term that I previously mentioned uh, last lecture, uh, which was electronegativity. We didn't talk about values or anything like that. We just talked about electronegativity those electronegative elements were those that tend uh, to uh, gain or attract electrons. So we saw that these were the electronegative elements over here on the right. So that, that means that the electropositive ones have lower values of electronegativity, which is abbreviated to EN in this case. So um, that's kind of the general trend is that electronegativity is going to increase to the right um, and it's also going to what we're going to see is it's going to uh, increase going up the uh, the periods all right so so here we go with uh, this kind of shows the electronegativity value uh, which go from from uh, you know in the neighborhood of one up to around five and what we see is that it goes up um, across uh, the periodic table from left to right, so lithium to neon is a crossed uh, from left to right on the periodic table, um, and then it resets and goes back down and then it uh, goes up and, and so forth. And so that we see that going up the periodic table from uh, here to here to here that we have a slight increase in the electronegativity. So that's uh, another trend that we tend to see. All right. So what I want to do now is, with this idea of electronegativity fresh in your mind, and I've put the uh, table with various values up here, so the numbers on this periodic table are the electronegativity values, um, what I want to see is if you can recall from previous classes how that influences the various different bond types. So I have two different compounds, magnesium oxide, MgO, and silicon carbide, SiC, and what I want you to do is see if you can write down which is more ionic. That was one of the types of primary bonds. Um, so see if you can uh, write that down. Uh, this is going to be on the quiz. So again, uh, kind of ignore the think, pair, share uh, activity part and the, the pairing. What I want you to do is think about this, uh, see which one you think is more ionic, and then uh, write that in the quiz for, for this week, and that will serve as uh, one of those quiz questions. So do that, pause the video, come back, and we will discuss. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what everybody has. So um, if we look at those two, um, uh, maybe you wrote that magnesium oxide should be the more ionic, and that's the case. So what I want you to draw your attention to and why hopefully you decided that was that uh, here's magnesium uh, with a, a value of 1.2 for electronegativity. These are uh, unitless, so there's no unit attached to it. Uh, oxygen is 3.5, so much higher. 
And so there's a difference um, of around uh, two there. And then if we look at silicon, 1.8, and carbon, uh, 2.5, those are much closer together, less than one difference between those two. And so ionic uh, bonds turn out to be the ones with compounds having elements of uh, much greater difference in electronegativity. And that's what's going to be shown in uh, the next module.